Three technology bills passed the state Senate today in the wake of the PA unemployment system breach, which ABC 27 revealed. So how likely are they to become law? Seth Kaplan has our continuing coverage. Just to recap what we've uncovered the past few weeks, hackers have been redirecting unemployment checks from the Pennsylvanians who are supposed to get them into fraudulent bank accounts. Cybersecurity experts have told us they're shocked at how easy the system was to breach. And from victims, we heard two things over and over again. This is definitely not my banking and routing information. Labor and industry won't tell us how many people are impacted, and it won't say whether it's working to tell those people either. No point was I alerted, hey, your banking info's changed. Someone from a different area has logged into your account. That alleged lack of notification could soon become illegal. The data privacy bill assures that citizens are notified in a timely fashion. By the agency where the breach happened. You don't want to find out from Seth Kaplan on ABC News that your data has been violated, that your bank account has been potentially broken into. That requirement part of one of three bills that passed the Senate Wednesday. A second bill would prohibit state and local governments from paying ransom to escape a ransomware attack. If you continue to pay these ransoms, they're just going to come back and keep asking for more and more and more. The last bill would require centralized state security standards and oversight of big projects like the new unemployment system. Cybersecurity experts criticized LNI for not turning on multi-factor authentication, which could require a legitimate unemployment recipient to enter a code texted to a phone only they have before changing direct deposit banking information. The cybersecurity IT procurement bill would assure that industry best practices are implemented here in the Commonwealth, right? It goes back to that concern about multi-factor authentication. And that last bill seems the least likely of the three to become law, even if it passes the state house. The governor's office says it duplicates a system that's already in place. Read between the lines, and that sounds like a likely veto. The victim and notification and ransomware bills passed the Senate on mostly party line votes, too. But Governor Wolf does sound more likely to consider signing those, depending on the final details, if they pass the House.